Depending on where you're living, if you're in high school or even in college, you may have started or you're just about to start school. Guys, I know, I've been there. School can be stressful and intimidating, but it doesn't have to be that way. Actually, the other day I was watching a very informative uh, YouTube video by uh, Patrick Ben David from Valuetainment. Basically, he was talking about how school might be the biggest scam in America. We've got a student loan epidemic. It's a big deal. Is college still worth it? More than 40% of borrowers aren't making payments. So what's a student to do? Now, before some of you jump to false conclusion, I'm definitely pro school, but I'm just not sure if things are set up with the student's best entry in mind. Anyways, that was very random. <laughs> We've got lots to cover, so without further ado, let's go. What's good everyone? My name is Chris Cabella. Welcome to the Gentleman's Fish channel. On this video, what I'm going to do is cover all the essentials for back to school from head to toe. At number one, a cool hat. Fellas, I'm sure this already happened to you, but there are going to be days when you really don't feel like fixing your hair. Or if you're like me, your hairline is gonna look like shit because you haven't seen your barber in more than two weeks. When that day is gonna come, I recommend having a simple yet minimalist navy or black hat. The reason why I'm recommending these two colors is because they pretty much go with anything. And of course, you can get them anywhere. At number two, a nice pair of glasses. Whether you have an excellent vision or you need them because otherwise you can't see anything, glasses can be a cool way to enhance your outfit. They protect your eyes from drying winds, dust, and other foreign particles which helps reduce uh, your risk of developing eye irritations. Or you can just get yourself a nice pair of shades uh, to protect yourself from uh, blue lights or UV rays. And number three, earphones for some of you and headphones for the others, depending on your preferences. Definitely not getting myself into that debate uh, uh, as to which one is better. Hell nah. One thing is for sure, whether you're taking the subway or in between classes, especially at the gym, you're gonna want to listen to your favorite artist or maybe a podcast. Also, if you gotta read a book for school, a lot of them are gonna be available on audiobook. So it's a great alternative if you don't enjoy reading that much. Add number four, a nice cologne. If you like most guys, you probably wear cologne for two main reasons. Smell good and to attract girls. But what if I told you that there are many benefits regarding smelling good? For example, did you know that it is scientifically proven that smells interact with our brain also you gotta wear the right cologne for the right occasion but most importantly you gotta know how to apply cologne i actually did a video about it so i'll make sure to link it down in the description and number five a t-shirt gents i know school can be very pricey but just think about this for a second would you rather buy a t-shirt which is going to shrink after three or four times in your dryer or would you rather invest a few extra bucks in getting something more durable. Well, to me, it's not even a question. I definitely choose a second option. Stay away from cheap brands or fast fashion stores and choose quality instead. You won't regret it. And number six, flannels or denim shirts. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like school is one of those places where you really don't want to dress up, but you still want to look presentable, don't you? What a better way to do so than by rocking a denim or a flannel shirt. Not only there are many colors available out there, they make your outfit go from regular to, you know what? Okay, this dude got style. And number seven, a nice watch. Fellas, if you're new to this channel, one thing you'll soon realize about me is that I love watches. I just feel like they add a little flavor to your outfit. I did a video about affordable watches and I'll make sure to link it for you guys. And number eight, chinos or jeans or both. Guys, Supposing you keep the same body frame for the next five years, which is likely to happen. And that's how many years a nice fitted pair of jeans can last you. That's why it's really important that you learn how to choose a nice pair of pants depending on your body type. Just listen carefully, okay? If I get 10 people in the comment section requesting for a video about pants, I'll definitely do it. And number nine, it's two pair of sneakers. Okay. So you're gonna need a dressier one, in most cases white. And you're also gonna need something more street style, you know? Something to, you know, just flex on your homies. But remember, quality doesn't necessarily mean 
pricey. Don't get fooled by those $300 sneakers. At number 10, it's a little bonus for you guys. Get yourself a very nice uh, water bottle and a very stylish card holder or wallet. Let me ask you a simple question. Why do you think women have so many handbags? Go ahead, I'm waiting. Women know it's an accessory they can use to enhance their outfit. Now listen, I'm not asking you to do all that, but at least get yourself something decent that's going to impress the ladies and even your friends for that matter. The one that I'm actually using right now is handmade and hand stitched in Montreal. And trust me, if you get something quality, it's gonna last you many years. Fellas, I have absolutely no idea how long this video is gonna be, but if you made it this far, you're a real one. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to be notified every single time we drop a new video. Follow Gentleman First on Instagram. My name is Chris Cabello. I will see you next week. Peace.